Hi everybody, Old Zorro here. I am just about uh, ready to come into the uh, village that we got our villagers from last time just to see how they're doing. We're trying to repopulate them. If you may recall, last time that we were uh, here, we uh, were able to repopulate the village that, uh, uh, well, had some mysterious death by, by pillagers when I started a raid. <laughs> when I tried to do a raid. Anyways, putting that unpleasantness behind us, let's go ahead and take a look and see how the village is doing. Uh, hopefully, uh, we have, uh, well, I should say, not hopefully, but we have been repopulating this village. And look at these people. There's villagers everywhere. Wow. Okay, cool. I've uh, We've got a few different uh, farms going. Let's go ahead and park uh, Tornado. Give her a place to, to sit comfortably with some nice friendly cows. Come on, Tornado, jump on over. You can do it, girl. There we are. Now let's go take a look. Let's see how our town's doing. Oh, hi, villager. Wow, lots of them. They are everywhere. Yes, that's good news. Yes, yeah, I was just mentioning, uh, we went ahead and repopulated, I should say, uh, Got a few farms going. I'm actually using the same farms that they had. Um, I am just making sure that it's it's all carrots. Whoops! Did I bring? Yes, I did. Um, I want to just make sure that they've got as much as many crops as they can. So they're doing well. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, hello, buddy. Yes, we've added some beds around in each one of the uh, various little houses they've, they've created for themselves. So everybody's got a bed. And you're wondering, maybe wondering, why are there so many beds? Uh, why are there so many villagers for so few beds? Hi guys, look like you're doing well. Well, the reason why is because this room here has got about 900 beds in it. Okay, not really, but I'm just going to go check this one uh, house over here. Make sure that, yep, the two beds in there. Great. Look at all the, oh, okay, meeting time. What time of the day is it getting to be? Yeah, it's midday. Everybody meeting around the bell. That's good. Looks like we have a nice, healthy village going. And yeah, so what have I got? I've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16 pets in here. So we got plenty of room for villagers to uh, to grow and populate. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Throw some food out there just to, since everybody's meeting together. Let's just toss some food around. You like that? Everybody's distributing them, sharing nicely. And one more. All righty, just help them along a little bit. They looks like their farms are doing well. Ah, we got one down here that could use a little bit of uh, assistance. So let's throw some more crops down here. Excellent. Yep. 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 All right. Good. Everybody's got some food. Let's share it around. Oh, we had a couple guys that fell down here. Well, that's not good. Let's give you room to get out. And do we have blocks? No, we really don't. Let's find some blocks. Ah, I should have known that was going to happen. Let's find some blocks to help keep them from uh, falling through there. Here we go. Because that little cave, I have noticed, gets a lot of uh, zombies and, and skellies in it. So let's go ahead and close that off. Make it a little less difficult for them to get stuck in there. And I wouldn't really mind than being able to see uh -huh. some guys because that'll encourage some some uh, there we go that will encourage 
You know what I'm trying to say. Encourage Gollum production. All right, and we got a baby. Okay, good. Things are looking pretty good. So let us go on back. It's getting to be nighttime. So let's get Tornado and head on back to our house. And then we will uh, go take a look at the other village and see how they're doing. All right, girl, that was good. That was productive. We have got we have got a nice village going, and uh, hopefully they will stay productive. Get some uh, iron golems going, and give us a spot to come back and get more <laughs> villagers if we decide to have another raid. <laughs> Which I am planning. I would like to get another raid going sometime just to prove that I can do it. <laughs> if you watch the uh, Creaky Buzzard Old Zoro team up vids, you know that I, we can do it when I've got two people. We've had plenty of raids over there, but Creaky's such a crack shot with her with her bow. Uh, she saved us many times. Wow, it got dark faster on here, didn't it? So I'll let you know when we get uh, away from the spiders, when we get back to the, uh, yeah, well, you know what? You like to see me avoid getting killed, so I'll go ahead and keep recording. Come on. Wow. These, them parts are full of creepies. Come on, girl. There you are. So far, so good. All righty. Here we are. Nice job, girl. Got us home safe and sound again. Tornado, you are one faithful steed, you are. Let's get some sleep and then uh, head on over to the other village. All right, it's morning. I just woke up, had my loaf of bread for breakfast, and I'm all set to head on out. Let's go take a look at the uh, other village and see how well they're doing. We got something planned over there. I would like to try to get some slime today. And that other village is right next to a swamp. Um, I'm not quite sure what how what phase of the moon we're in, but we sh hopefully we'll be able to get slime, some slime tonight. Let's head on up and go take a look. See how they're doing. Oh, what have we here? Alrighty, this is uh, yeah I know. What have we here? We have got some neighbors, and I'm just going to let you run free for a minute, Tornado. All right, what I am doing here is a just a little game I wanted to play with you folks. Uh, guess the uh, guess the build. <laughs> this is a uh, recreation of a famous house, and uh, I want to see if you can figure out who it is, which house it is. Now, this is really <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Because we have to use Minecraft Dimensions. So the Minecraft Dimensions, you know, this is as good as I can get it. <laughs> um, so you have to use your imagination a little bit. But can anybody guess whose house this is? The famous house that we all know. No matter what part of the world you're in. Here's a hint. It's an evergreen terrace. There is a nice picket fence that goes around it. But we don't have uh, anything good to, to do picket fence with. I could use, uh, about the closest we've got is uh, is the uh, spruce planks or spruce uh, uh, trap doors, but that didn't give quite the right look. So I didn't use those for a fence, but just imagine a picket fence around it and uh, a street right here. Anybody can guess? Put your, put your guesses down in the comments. And uh, see if uh, you know whose house that is. And if, uh, if you enjoyed this game, let me know. We will go ahead and uh, do some more. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab Tornado. <clears throat> Come on, girl. Don't go too far. There you are. 
Aha. You found a, a uh, zombie or an ex-zombie, huh? All right, let's head on over here. Looks like we got some uh, iron golems up here around that village. I'm going to build a better staircase here, don't I? Yeah, let's do that. And it looks pretty good, I think. My girl, let's go ahead and tie you up here. Hello, villagers. Got a couple uh, golems in there. Okay, golem outside, golem inside. Farmers keeping productive. Looks like we have got a successful little village going here. Uh, where's that cartographer or that librarian? Let's see if we can find him. Nope, leather worker, cleric, there he is. Nope, that's the armor, come on. Out of my way, Oop. there you are. Nope, I thought you were the, all right, where is he? Cleric, leather worker, let's go find, Ugh, that place is too crowded. Where did that librarian go? You wanna go librarian? Nope. Librarian? Nope. Cartographer. Got an empty map for us. Uh, butcher. Come on, Mr. Cartographer. Get out of the way, please. There we are. There was a librarian here that was selling mending books. Fisherman. Librarian. Mending. Oh, I need a whole bunch of emeralds, huh? All right. Well, let's see. I can get two emeralds now. One, two. And it looks like we just put him over. Did he advance? Yep. Did I see? There we go. Now what are you going to offer us? So I can give you more books for emerald or we can use emerald to buy lanterns. Well, all right. I want to see if we can get up enough uh emeralds to get that enchanting book that would be nice so we're working on them slowly but surely don't call him surely all right so we got a total of 10 so far and i'll put some more oh man ah, boy we're one away oh can i uh nope because of the fact that I don't hang around here in this village, the crops don't grow. So if I was to AFK here for a bit, we would see the uh, the sugar cane grow, but that's not happening. Okay. Now I was telling you that I would like to uh, see if we can get some slime. We don't have any slime yet. And you can get slime one of two ways. Find a slime chunk and create a slime farm or to hang around in a swamp at night and uh, hopefully you might be able to uh, get some some naturally spawning slime that way so that's what i'd like to do i would like to go on down there and get some of that sugar cane because we can use it to create some books but uh we're gonna wait around till night comes and then see how brave we can be by hanging around in the swamp and see if we can find some slime now if you're a long time watcher of these videos you'll know that the very first time i came out here to this village to look around i heard a, a slime underground right here somewhere and i was not able to find them we looked around we went underground and uh we couldn't find where that slime was so i may dig around here a little bit just to see See if we can find where that uh, underground, there's got to be a cave or cavern or something underneath there. So we might play around with that a little bit. And if once we get that village healthy enough, I'm thinking about opening it up so that all of these uh, houses can be used. Well, do we have beds in all of them? Yeah, we've got a lot of beds down there. I'm 
gonna see about getting this whole area this whole area populated so let's we'll see what happens I would sure like to get this uh, ghost town alive again yep okay Let's head on back up to the village. We'll wait around till nighttime and see what we can do. Okay, it's almost nighttime. One thing I like to do when we are going to uh, go after slime is find a nice high vantage point so I can kind of see where the slime are. So let's see if we can find a good spot to stake out our area. I love having my depth strider boots on. I can go through the water so fast. Okay, let's get up on top of this hill, on top of that tree, and see if... Uh, We can get a nice 360 view. Okay, climb up. Whoops. Climb up. Come on. There you go. Hmm, I forget which phase of the moon I need. <laughs> Let's find out. This may not be good. Ah, there's a slime. See him? Over there. See the top of his head? Let's go get him. Who's after me? Hello, Mr. Slime. I see you. Yeah, that was fast. Look at that. We just got started and there he is. Okay. I know I should be looking around. Something's going to come up and grab me from behind. Yep, see him? They're heading toward me. Yes, slime balls. And see that? First time I've got slime balls. Oh, don't take my slime. How very rude. Yeah, I know. You're coming at me from all sides now. <laughs> all right. Everybody wants some of my slime. We got to get your own slime. Give me a back. Ah. I'll take care of you. Show you who's boss. All right, yeah. Okay, spiders and skellies. Yeah. Skelly shooting at me. Yep. Okay, let's go on back up this tree. Okay, get up nice and high. And let's look around. Good. How many do we get? 15. Nice. Why am I looking for slime? If you're new to Minecraft, slime is actually very useful for building uh, sticky pistons. And we're going to be getting into redstone here. I, th I think I said we were going to try to do it today, but uh, I don't know if we're going to have time to get into any redstoning today. But we do want to, uh, we will be doing some redstoning here very, very soon. Probably in the next episode or two. Do a little sniping while we're looking for another slime. Okay, I can hear the zombies down there looking for me, trying to get to me. I'm going to jump down to this water and let's find another spot. Not that, you know, this guy's these guys are causing us any trouble. We just want to look around because you never know where slime are going to appear in the swamp. But that was good. Good to know that they wow, came out so fast. That was cool. Keep looking. There's another one. Let's go get him. Ooh, a couple Endermen too. Okay, don't look at the Enderman. 
Spidey. Lots of things coming at once here. Sorry, I'm quiet because I'm scared. Trying to stay alive. What does that mean? You. You. Okay, I'll eat as soon as I can. I know. Thank you for yelling at me. I heard you. Nice. 35 slime. Look at that. Woohoo. Okay, let's get up here a little bit. And how's our advantage? A little sniping. I'm going to be throwing marshmallows at me. He just disappears. You said, all right, buddy, I get you. Give up. You can't hit the side of a barn. And he's right. Let's go down there and get that XP. And climb up. Can we do it? No, I was afraid of that. Ah, <laughs> ah that creeper knows that I can't, can't get down. Okay, there you go. He's, he's looking at me going, come on there, Zorro. You're not going to be able to get yourself up there. You know it. <laughs> he's waiting for me. Alrighty, any more slime? Mm, don't see anybody. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. Creeper. Yep. Yep. No, I don't want to meet you when I jump down there, which I'm going to have to do soon, I'm sure. I'm not sure if slime come out in any particular timing. I don't know if it's random or if they come out at certain times or not, but it seems like uh, you get them just before the moon goes down. How are we doing? Yeah, it's, we're getting close. I want to see if I can get more toward the middle. Okay, I'm going to hurt my ankles here. Jump! Alright, it's not that bad. Yep, Skelly, I thought you were there. There you are. Okay. Let's look around a little bit. Get more toward the middle. Can I see something there? Nope. Cow. A lot of vendormen out here. Uh huh. I see ya. Not interested in you right now, though. I guess I'm going to have to be. Yeah, no, I don't have any way to heal him. Whoa! Creeper! That scared me. Why didn't you tell me he was there? <laughs> because I should have been looking, that's why. Okay. Just before the moon goes down there seems like there's a little uptick in uh, slime so let's this seems to be a good spot that was close I almost looked at the enderman I kind of want to head over that way Missed him again. 
<laughs> I knew I was going to shoot at him. Nothing, nothing. No, it might be, might be getting too bright. Let's see if we can hop down. Anything over this way? Besides creepers, skellies. Yeah, pretty brave of me, huh? <laughs> Climbing up there when there's a creeper right next to me. Nope, 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 don't see any. All right, well, that was pretty good. We got 35 slime balls out of that. Not too shabby. All right, not too shabby at all. We got 35 slime balls. We uh, had a pretty productive day, and we've got a creeper that's going to be there when we jump out of our tree, so let's take care of him. Done. And I think that's going to call the day, everybody. We, uh, we had a productive day. We got a chance to take a look at the villagers to see that the villages are healthy and the population has been maxed out on both sides. Um, so great. So it's been a very productive day. We got 35 slime balls. Woohoo! I am going to make good use of those. And uh, I think we're going to come back here and might make a slime farm. Just a simple slime farm. But next time we're on here next week, uh, be ready for some um, redstone tutorials. If you are a novice, you know, this, this series is meant for beginners because uh, I'm just barely more than a beginner. I can't really get into any advanced stuff. But uh, for you beginners, if you want to know a little bit about the redstone, the principles behind it, some of the basic things that you can do, uh, we're going to talk about that next time. So thank you very much for, for being here with me. And again, if you have a comment on whose house that is that we made, Go ahead and let us know in the comments and we will uh, continue to do that. If you like that, let me know. Uh, so thanks everybody. We had fun. This was productive. We enjoyed seeing you. And uh, if you enjoyed the episode, hit like. You know all the things we need you to do. Hit like. Hit uh, subscribe if you want to see them more often. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when the uh, videos come out. Thanks everybody. Love having you with us. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time with Old Zoro Does Minecraft. Bye bye everybody.